In this video, I'll show you how to use SEMrush to create a list of backlinks to disavow in Google. So what you're going to do is log into your SEMrush, and this is assuming that you already have an account. Once you're here, go to the left-hand side and click on Backlink Audit. Make sure that you've added your particular domain that you want to disavow links for. In my case, I'm going to select my own, meetgeraldine.com. SEMrush gives an overall toxicity score indicated by this graph here. So as you can see, I have nine high, five medium, and 80 that are non-toxic. To view these links, press audit. Once I've gone here, it'll show me all the ones that I have for review. What I wanna point out here is that you have this section of filters that could be very useful for the sorting process. What I like to do first is go with the ones with the high toxicity score, and that's gonna be 60 to 100. As you can see in this list, there's gonna be a bunch of different links that are very low quality. And one of the ways that I can determine that other than the fact that it has a high toxicity score is that right here in this third column, it says AS, which is the authority score. And if their authority score is pretty low, so for example, this is five right here, and their toxic score is high, that means I should probably get rid of all of them. So the way to do that is you can, if you would like to go through each one by one and click on the little uh, square with the arrow. However, SEMrush is pretty advanced in terms of being a program. So I actually wouldn't even do that for the high score ones. What you do is you press this button right here, which is basically like select all. And as you can see, it's gonna select everything that's there. And then there's two icons here. There's move a group of backlinks to remove or move group of backlinks to disavow. What you want to do is move it to disavow. The only time that you want to use the paper airplane is that if you've contacted all these different website owners to remove your link from their site, and then you want to remove them. I recommend just doing disavow. So when I do that, I'm going to press on that. Make sure you have domain selected because there might be sub URLs below that that's also connected to you. Move to disavow, and then it's gonna take it outside of this list. Now keep in mind that there are other domains here that are medium that you might wanna go through as well. I'm not gonna go over how to do that aside from pressing on the X and then selecting 45 to 59. For these in particular, I would probably just scan through and look at the different domain names to see whether or not you want to disavow them and you can move them in the same manner as I did before. Once you're ready to disavow, go to disavow, which is the tab at the top. And from here, you have two different options. If you've already disavowed links in the past, you wanna make sure and download your disavow list from Google and add it to this list. So that way you can combine everything that you've disavowed in the past. Otherwise, if you're doing this newly, go ahead and export to text and save it on your computer. Once you've done that, what you're gonna do is go to a search engine window. So in this case, I'm just gonna go to Google and I'm gonna say Google search console disavow and then it'll take you directly to your, oops, not that one, sorry. It'll take you directly to your disavow links page. Alternatively, you can go to this URL right here. Make sure you select the property that you wanna disavow for, then you upload that link. Now, the thing is Google doesn't tell you how long it's gonna take for them to go through all these and approve them. They don't give you any timelines like that. So you just kind of have to keep on doing this and hope for the best. So I hope that was helpful for you. That's how you use SEMrush to create a disavow list and submit to Google Search Console. Again, this is assuming you already have a SEMrush.com account and Google Search Console installed into your website. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Leave a comment down below if you have any more questions. Thanks.